I am Giovanni Furlan, and here I am dancing the first male solo in Robin's concertino. This part here is the very end of the trio, the only moment where the three dancers in the ballet are together on stage. As I'm backing up here carrying the ballerina, I'm already thinking of how I have to calm myself down and get grounded. I have like one second to take a breath and I'm back out on stage. I think being simple is actually really difficult, but when you have to just stand or walk, it's almost like you're naked and you just have to be you walking. So it's kind of difficult. Here really I'm thinking about my feet and really articulating this moment where I'm pointed. I try to be on my balance and then go down with a flex foot. And this whole solo is pretty quiet actually because it's just a clarinet. I think I try to be as quiet with my feet, even though the movements actually have to be pretty big. And here going to a very classical line and suddenly I just break it, move big. There are a lot of moments where I have to reach as high as I can and then kind of collapse and melt. So I have to be aware always of using both extremes. And then it goes into one of my favorite moments, getting to do these crazy arms and just throwing them around. The musicality is it's Stravinsky. It's very difficult to count. Most Robbins ballets that I've done, they felt very humane, that you could bring a lot of feelings that you have as a person. And Concertino specifically feels a little more abstract and feels almost like a response to Balanchine to me because it's Stravinsky first of all, but also he has this lack of a plot line. You know, you're just being more a um, dancer than a human. That's what it feels like to me. And this pirouette that's hard to do, but it's very fun actually to get to. And then I just run back into the wings to catch my breath. <laughs> 